Hey, what's going on guys? Um, Bastad here, and today is April 12th. It's about almost 9 o'clock, and uh, I'm actually going to be meeting up with one of my buddies here in a little bit, and we're going to do some night fishing. Um, I don't know if a lot of you uh, that are watching this have done a lot of night fishing, but one, it's one of my favorite things. Um, the te techniques I usually use for te uh, for night fishing is, of course, top water, and uh, basically the setup that I like to use, and that's a little bit about what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get on any fish or not, but um, it brings up a good topic. Um, just you know, if some of you do actually want to, uh, can you see me? It's a little dark in here. If you guys actually do want to do a little bit of night fishing, if you're thinking about trying it out, um, usually the best way to go is to strictly top water. Um, you want to pick a night that the moon is in pretty much full phase, like right now. Um, yesterday, last night was a full moon, so tonight should be still be pretty decent. Um, I like to use strictly top water, and I like to use a rod that's like just under seven foot. Like this one right here is a lose. Uh, speed stick American hero um, and I believe it's like a six and a half um, foot and it's got you know really short it's short enough to where you can you know it's a great topwater rod um, you can get some really good action on it um, some of the baits I like to use um, I'm going to go ahead and of course tie on my favorite which I'm sure some of you have heard of this bait before let's see if I can get this um, of course it's called a whopper plopper and uh, if you've never used one of these um, they sell them at Bass Pro and uh, they they have some awesome action I've actually never even caught one on this yet and I've been wanting to so hopefully tonight I can um, I don't know how good a quality video I'm gonna get I'm gonna have my light on my hat and maybe I'll get some footage but uh that's what I'm gonna be throwing if you can see it Whopper plopper, and you know, then I've got another uh, top water rod over here, um, tied up uh, with just with some braid, like thirty pound thirty pound braid, with a frog. Um, it's just like a you know generic frog that I got. Um, so we'll see how we do. Um, you know, it's a uh, hit or miss usually but it's a lot of fun especially when you get one on top water at night and it's a lot it's very exciting so stay tuned and we'll see how it goes Okay guys, so right here, um, I've actually been fishing for a while, um, I started off throwing a whopper plopper, but uh, ended up uh, throwing this uh, Spro Rat, um, at this point um, I've had a lot of blow ups and I've missed a lot of fish, um, so here is when I actually finally uh, hook up on a good one, um, sorry, you can't really see, because uh, it's so is. dark, but um, just uh, watch and see uh, how excited off, I get when I hook into this nice fish. Nope, came off. I'm not hitting this thing very hard. There he is. 
Got him. Decent fish. A top water mouse. There he is. There he is. Nice fish. Oh, that's a toad. That is a toad. Oh. That is a toad. Oh. Pliers at. <sighs> Shaking. That is a toad. Oh my. You can see me, but I'm getting the release on this guy. Look at that mouth. Nice fish. That's what it's about, top water bassin'. Swim away, girl. She goes. That's how you do it. All right, so um, I'm back home here. Um, and I guess you can say that was a pretty successful trip. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I had a blast catching that bass tonight. Um, sometimes it's not always going to be, uh, you know, going to be that way, but... Um, you know, uh, comment below. Let me know. Um, you know, if you've ever, if any of you have ever been night fishing top water like that before, um, and some of the experiences you had, what worked for you. Um, that fish ended up hitting that uh, spro rat, and that's actually probably one of my favorite things to throw in that situation at night because it's such a subtle bait. Um, sometimes if you uh, throw something loud and you know, uh, like a buzz bait or like that whopper plopper sometimes you just have to let them they you have to figure out what what they want they usually will tell you you know if they're hitting a the bait like that they, they'll hit it right off the bat but sometimes they're really slow to hit so that's kind of how the the bite was tonight so anyway um thanks for watching um make sure uh you like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Got a lot more coming up.